I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet, and uh, today I'd like to show you how to set up a Yamaha Grand Piano when it comes in from out of town, when it's wrapped up. Somebody called me today from, I think, Maryland. They're sending a piano to South Africa, and they said that there's nobody down there that knows how to set up piano, so I figured I'd make this video for him and anybody else that <coughs> needs this information. So anyway, when a piano comes to you, if it's crated, or if we send the piano to you and... Uh, you need to set it up yourself. If there's nobody around that knows how to set up a piano, it's pretty easy. Um, it's going to arrive similar to this. You have the piano inside. It's all wrapped up in cardboard. And it's going to be tied down to what's called a piano board. Uh, our piano boards are disposable. So once you receive it, you can throw it out. You don't have to return it or anything. This is the way the pianos come to us. So uh, you would start by just basically cutting all the rope, unwrapping all the cardboard, and then the next thing that happens is that you're going to have the piano arrive like this. There's usually something that's going to be tied to hold the lid shut, okay? And all of this uh, stuff here is, uh, this uh, material here is put in so that the finish doesn't rub against each other and, and, um, and scratch itself in between the lock bar and the top of the piano inside. Now, if we take this off here, first thing we want to do, incidentally, I've already put, put the legs on so we keep the video nice and short. So we can get this off. <clears throat> Somebody got a knife around here? This should just pull. Ah, there it goes. Okay. So now the lid is released. Now, you, naturally, you don't want to let go of the lid because it's going to fall open. So what we do is we just open the lid about this much and lean it back like this. Okay, so this comes out. You want to make sure the full board is still closed, like it is. Uh, on newer pianos, uh, what happens is they kind of like they're spring-loaded, so they're going to want to pop open. Uh, you might want to take some tape and close it. Uh, this one will be okay because it's an older model. Yamaha doesn't have any of the spring-loaded uh, full boards that fall slowly. So, okay, so next thing. You're going to take your legs. Legs are usually in a box, and you'll see on your legs you have two bolt holes, and then there's two dowel holes, okay? The dowels are, dowel holes are offset, and uh, they're always offset so that when you put the leg on, the offset side goes towards the center of the piano. So you would want to line up the legs <coughs> so that the offset is pointing down to the piano because that's where the two dowels are. Put them on, tighten them. You're going to see there's uh, six bolts for the legs. The short ones go on the front legs, the long bolts, go on the back leg. When it's a Kawhi piano, all the, all, all the bolts for the legs are the same size, but the pedals get two large bolts. On the Yamaha pianos, the, the bolts for the pedal lyre, which is this here, is always connected to the pedals. You see that they're on here already. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to attach the pedals. And maybe we'll put, make the camera sit and I can get some assistance with this. Uh, you have dowels, and the dowels go in the dowel holes. Okay. And then you're going to put the, the struts, connect them, tighten them. Those, uh, the, the uh, screws for the pedals, they're wing nuts. There's a reason for that. It's only supposed to be finger tightened. A lot of times you'll have movers, they're going to try to use pliers to tighten these, and what happens is they'll break the wings off the wing nuts, and they're just not designed to be tightened with a wrench. That's why they're wing nuts. So you tighten them with your fingers. There you go. Next thing. This is like one of the most important things that movers don't do. I don't know why. And you always have piano get damaged like this. When you go to set up the piano, um, you want the piano to be moved slightly to the middle of the piano board, like this. So when you tilt it down, this part of the piano doesn't fall down on the floor and crack, and that happens a lot. So you always want to move the piano this way over about four or five inches. So you have plenty of piano board for the piano to ride on when it's coming down. Okay, next thing. We need a moving blanket. <clears throat> You're going to put a moving blanket underneath the pedal wire. Some movers don't want to do this because they think that the pedal wire is going to crack and break. This pedal wire will never crack and break. It's actually designed to be used this way, to set up the piano this way. 
So uh, any of you movers out there, if you're worried about the pedal wire on a Yamaha, it will not crack and break. The ones that will crack and break are the older American-made pianos like Kimball's, Kanabi's, pianos like that. You wouldn't want to try setting a piano this way. But with a Yamaha Grand or a Kola, you can. The other thing, too, is you want to turn this wheel up. This needs to be tightened a little bit more. You got a wrench? Turn the wheel up so when the piano comes down, it doesn't shift. So I'm going to tighten that bolt up. This one's tightened up, so we're ready to let it down. Okay? You only need really two people for any grands up to six foot. Um, one person here to let the piano down, another person is going to be on the other side. And what he's going to do is he's going to lift up from the bottom and he's going to tilt the piano up this way while I pull down. <clears throat> so we're going to close the lid and down we go. Where she stops, nobody knows. There we go. There we go. Ready? One, two. There she goes. Okay, now we're going to put the other leg on. Remember your dowels are facing the inside of the piano. Actually, you have to turn it around. Pass me the bolts. You've got to turn it around. There you go. There you go. See, it's pretty simple. You got your wrench? Mm -hmm. The whole dust. Uh, Unpacking, setting up of a piano shouldn't take more than maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is pull the blanket out from underneath the pedals. Actually, he's going to do this himself, but we're going to show you how to do it. Well, you can have one person lift up a leg and then the other person pull out the blanket. But there it is. Okay. So I'm going to open it. Oh, incidentally, you'll, you'll, you'll see that the music stand is usually tied down. That's to prevent it from flapping back and forth inside and making a mark on the underside of the lid. Same as thing. well as the prop stick. As well as the prop stick. That also gets tied down so it doesn't uh, flop around inside while the piano's in transit. And, you know, make some marks on the underside of the lid. And there you have it. And over here we got this taken off. And there we go. Sometimes the action is locked down. That's a pretty simple operation to do. You just um, pull the action out. I guess we have time. How long is this video already? Eight minutes? Sure. Yeah, we've got enough time. So I'll show you how to unlock the action. There we go. in front of the keys. I'm going to pull that up, put it aside, grab the action, one finger on either side, do not push the keys down, pull the action out, just rock it out a little bit, and then you'll see that this, this piece of wood here is tied down to keep the hammers from jumping during transit. There we go. Be very careful when you push the action back in not to have any fingers on the keys because if you have your finger on the key, you're making a hammer go up. When you push it in, the hammer will snap off. Just like that. Okay, now you're going to put the key slip back on. Key blocks back in. There's only one way they can go. Screw it into the key blocks. I guess the trickiest thing that people have is managing the fallboard installation and 
taking out. It's pretty simple. There's a little hinge pin on either side of the full board. It actually just slips out and it goes right back in. Yamaha's amazing how they engineer these things and they've been this way ever since they started. Anyway, I hope that helps you if you ever want to set up your own piano. She's all done. Thank you.